How you doing guys? This is Hybrid Steel and welcome to Volcalidus, the DLC for Hydronia. So, today I'm going to be talking to you about my little friend here. This is the tank Thor, well the Thor tank. So you can pronounce it T-H-A-W, it's Thor, but we're all calling it Thor as in the lightning god, dude. You know, Marvels, that's, you know, Thor. Rah! With a big hammer. So, basically this thing is supposed to melt different levels of snow which is pretty damn cool. Now the reason why I'm dragging it through the lava, I'm taking this down to Dawn Rest. The reason why I'm taking it there is because, well, it's a free playground and I'm all good. It means I can test it and be happy that I'm basically going to be burning it up and seeing how this thing works. Uh, control so far seems a little bit sluggish, but it is a tank, basically. And um, it has got a decent amount of fuel on the back of it. I hope it lasts because I didn't bring a pan with me, which is probably mistake number one, and maybe I should have bought one. The downside is I've got nowhere to put the pan. It doesn't have a storage on it. Now the two little things on the back, which are these thing, these little circles, you can put a new canister of fuel on the back so you can dig through, well, so you can melt tier two and tier three ice. Now, being I'm gonna be doing my test on tier one, it doesn't really matter. But the tier two and tier three canisters are sold in the shop. You can go and buy them when you've unlocked them. Um, but yeah, they're, they are there. You can go and pick them up whenever you need be. I just want to see what this is like because I think this is going to be fun and I'm going to, I think I'm going to enjoy myself. So we shall see. Okay, first off, we are on the plot. Oh, yes. Right. So I'm going to angle my dig angle up with an R. I'm basically going to just dig into the floor. Oh, yeah. That's pretty cool. Oh, wow. Yeah, that, it, that works really, really well. Look at the tunnel I am making. It is fine. Okay, so I'm basically at the bottom. So let me just reverse out a little bit. And we need to angle up. That is pretty damn. That is pretty cool. I like that. So this might help you find relics. Oh, wow. I didn't expect it to do that. Okay, this is pretty cool. I like this. I'm melting the floor now. I'm literally just standing on it, and it seems to be melting itself. That's so cool. I like it. It's, a, it's got a good little mind to it, you know? So if you don't want to clear all that dirt, and you just want to go tier 3, it's actually a good way of doing it. You just get right down and dirty with it. Yeah, okay. I like it. My main test would be if I could just take off the top layer of, like, tier 1, and then be done with that. Now, I don't really want to do that on my main plot, but I'm pretty sure that's how this works. So, I can't dig down to past tier 2. So, what you would do is you would just melt off tier 1, and then you could work on that if you really wanted. So, that basically just means everything's a bit more sort of open for the average player. If you grab this from Mott's Island, that works really, really well. Like, you're able to just burn it off and be happy. I, what, what I will do... Actually, I don't want to do it on my plot of land. So, what I'm going to do quickly is... So, yeah, my one downside is it doesn't have any... Um, it doesn't have any storage, so I can't put a pan on it so we can take it with us and we can move it around. Now, what you can do with this to get it around is you can actually wait, whack this on the back of the hauler because it has got the eyelet on top, so you can actually lift it off the floor and take it places. So that would be a good thing to do. If you're going to take this to another place, like, let's say, another plot of land... Put it on the back of the hauler. That means you have to buy the hauler. But then the hauler can be used as a storage. So you can put a pan on it to fill it back up and so on and so forth. So that's not a bad idea. At the end of the day, it gives you a reason to take it out. It's good for taking off the layers. And if you only want to dig down to tier 1 on all the plots of land, you can use this. You don't need a roller. This would actually probably work a little bit quicker in a way. Well, I don't know. I think the, the roller is pretty much king when it comes to getting rid of layers of dirt. This... I actually like this if you're, if you're looking to dig underground. So that's pretty solid. I like this. So I do want to test if it only goes down to just one level. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go into the real, like the dark end of my plot of land. Now I do want to take all this down with the roller at some point. But if I just sit over here quickly and just aim down, technically I should just dig a hole down to tier one. It shouldn't go any further than that. So, we're going to angle down, which is R, 
and we're just going to turn it on. So yeah, that's exactly what it's done. That's pretty cool. I like it. So without the canisters on it, I could just burn my way down to tier one. I mean, it would take longer because obviously what I want to do is I want to clear all the top layers off first. So you can shoot it forward and you can just take off layers. But I think again, I think I'd be using the I think I'd be using the roller more to do that, which is that's pretty much where I want to be anyway. But that's pretty cool. I like it. I really do. I think this is uh, it's definitely got potential. And it's definitely uh, a vehicle that would. I think it's going to have a lot of utility. It is a proper badass vehicle. I like it. And I'm glad Max has bought something in that gives us a little bit more sort of like tunneling ability. Now, I know we did have the mole, which was in the first one, or in, in the original game. But I feel like being able to burn ice and like clearing a tunnel like that, this little thing is pretty nifty. So if you do like this, go and check it out. It is on Mott's Island. You will need the hauler. So I will say, if you're going to buy a pair, you want to buy the hauler and you want to buy this because it's just easier to get it around different plots of land. So, yeah, go and check it out. And, um, yeah, it's got my seal of approval. I really like this. It's a good little truck. Tank thing. Awesome. So thank you very much for coming by. Thanks for checking out the tank with me. I'd never used it before until today. So it's been uh, it's definitely been fun. So until my next video, live stream, or whatever else I do on this channel, hit that like, subscribe, and notification button below for all other updates. And I'll be back here with another video, live stream, or whatever else I do over here. Until then, peace out, have fun, enjoy everything you guys do. A-boom! Fist bump to you.